Good morning, everyone. And thank you for joining the Consumer Product Safety Commission on the National Mall for this very important event to highlight the dangers of consumer and illegal fireworks. I would also like to welcome all of you, those of, those of you who are streaming live on Facebook. My name is Anne Marie Burkle, and I'm the Acting Chairman of the Consumer Product Safety Commission. And in a few moments, we will demonstrate hazard scenarios involving consumer and illegal firework devices and illustrate for you why this message to celebrate safely is so very important. It can truly be a matter of life and death. We will also hear this morning a very personal story from a gentleman by the name of Michael Spencer. Mr. Spencer's life was forever changed following a firework mishap on a vacation in 2015. His experience will show us that even legal fireworks can cause injuries if not used properly. Before we hear Mr. Spencer's story, I want to share with all of you our latest firework death and data statistics. Last year in 2017, there were eight reports of fireworks related deaths involving victims ranging from ages 4 to 57. An estimated 12,900 consumers suffered injuries from fireworks in 2017. 67% of those injuries were involved and occurred during the 30-day period surrounding the 4th of July, an average of 290 injuries per day. These, the, the, the message today is that illegal and professional fireworks is crystal clear. Don't make them, don't purchase them, and don't go near them. Sparklers are often viewed as harmless, but let's be, let's be clear, they can be deadly if not used properly. They are all actually the most uh, often cause of any injuries that we see fireworks related. Most of the injuries with fireworks involve burns and were associated with familiar devices, again, such as sparklers, fireworks, bottle rockets, and you misuse uh, reloadable shells. So let me just end with a couple of uh, bits of advice when you're using fireworks. When it comes to consumer fireworks, keep sparklers out of the hands of children. Sparklers can burn up to 2,000 degrees Fahrenheit, just like a blowtorch. And as I mentioned, they are the highest reason for injuries related to fireworks. Never light more, more than one sparkler at a time. Always, if you're having, using consumer fireworks, have a bucket of water and a hose ready and available. Never relight or pick up a firework that hasn't detonated, that hasn't exploded. Never go back to try to relight it. Leave it be. Light one at a time on a flat, dry surface. And never put your body over that device in order to see what's happening or in order to light it. July 4th is a special holiday in the United States of America. We celebrate our birth as a nation. It's a wonderful time for families to gather, for us to take time to recognize the greatness of our nation. And the Consumer Product Safety Commission wants all of you to celebrate safely. Don't spend your time in the emergency room, but celebrate the 4th of July the way it should be celebrated, with family, friends, and recognizing the greatness of the United States of America. Thank you so much. And now Mr. Spencer will follow with some brief remarks um, before the demonstrations occur. Thank you all very much for being here. <laughs> 